We start our roundup of yesterday's fortunes at Darlington, where the Quakers welcomed back league football to Feetham's, but were still looking for their first goal of the season. They were queuing up for a seat outside the ground as well as inside as Brian Little's men trying to get their first league points in more than 15 months. A dubious start at Gillingham last week hadn't exactly given them a great deal of confidence going into this clash with Burnley. And it showed early on as veteran Ron Futcher gets in behind the defence to put Mark Crudder to the test. But perhaps all they needed was a little bit of luck. And they got it as John Borthwick fell over in the area. There was a pregnant pause before the striker and the crowd realised that the referee had pointed to the spot. And he wasn't about to change his mind. It took Frank Gray more than 40 matches to open his account last season, but no such problems this time around. The Quakers were never going to have it all their own way. Ian Bray hoists this ball into the middle, and when it's eventually knocked back in, it's that man Futcher again, whose neat flick levels the game. But with only a couple of minutes left to the break, it was a midfield battle in the true sense of the word that set up Darlington second. Gary Gill gets the foot in the chest, and then the magic sponge. Surely he'd take it easy until half-time. Well, no such luck for the men from Turf Moor. When the keeper's punch only reaches the edge of the area, Gill's recovered to smash the half-volley home. After the interval, it was more of the same. Constant pressure from David Cork sets up right-back Les McJanet for another cracker. That was just the two-goal cushion they were looking for. But still time to panic at the other end, as Futcher once more gets Prudder scrambling to clear his lines. But the three points are safe. Well, I'm almost certain last time Darlington were in the league, it was end of February, March, before they won a home game. And, and that was probably the main reason for them going out of the Football League. Uh, it's nice to play your first game at home uh, and to win it. And uh, we're chuffed a bit.